What's up you guys, it's Jeremy Ray back with another video and inside of this one I'm going to be showing you guys the best way to literally instantly increase the sales on your dropshipping store So make sure you smash that like button and with that being said, let's get into the video All right, you guys so hopping into my computer and going to reconvert I'm just gonna install reconvert on my store right now I want to show you guys from literally the beginning of installing reconvert on your store to the end of getting this set up and actually Setting up upsells for you. So I want to give you guys the whole process Process. So I'm literally like installing this on my store from scratch right now So you guys can see the start to finish process as if you're doing this yourself And if you haven't at this point you guys make sure you go to the link in the description and sign up for reconvert There's a link in the description where you can get access to reconvert and try them out for free It's literally free to start using which is so awesome So you guys make sure you go to the link in the description sign up for reconvert and then as soon as you do Basically, you're gonna install this on your store and you're gonna see the home page as soon as it pulls up. I think we got one more page and then we'll be inside the app. So right here, boom. Now we're just gonna go ahead and say start your free trial now. We can also look at the pricing table if we want to. And the coolest thing about reconvert is it charges you based off what it makes you. So that's probably like my favorite thing about this app is it's literally such a good app and it knows that it's gonna make your store so much extra money that they bet their whole business model off of you making money off of their app. Like you pay them, the more they charge is based off the more money you make. So if you don't make more money, they're not gonna be charging you more, which basically shows you that, you know, in their business, they wanna be able to charge you more. That's how their business stays alive. So for them to charge you more, you have to literally make sales. That's how good reconvert is. There's not many apps that do that. And if an app does that, I mean, you know, I don't even have to say anything else. You could already just think about that pricing structure and guarantee yourself that the app obviously makes people more money than it costs. Otherwise, they would go out of business, right? With that pricing structure, right? So next, as soon as we hop in, the first thing we need to do is actually set this up as our post-purchase page funnel. So meaning we need to set it up to where basically Shopify redirects people to the reconvert post-purchase upsell funnel pages instead of just directing them right to the regular Shopify order status page. So all we're gonna do is go here and we gotta go to settings, check out post-purchase, and basically we just have to go ahead and add reconvert so we scroll down here and now we're just going to click reconvert right here post purchase page reconvert and then save boom just like that so now we have reconvert as the post purchase page now let's check the status and we're all good as you can see green arrow or green check mark means we good so next thing is enable reconvert so literally just like this is the one button enable reconvert and boom, we're good to go. Reconvert is now set up on our store and active. Now, what we need to do is just go ahead and set up these different upsells if we wanna customize them. So obviously, we already have like literally that set up reconvert to where like it's set up now. We don't have to do anything else, right? But if we want to, we can edit inside of here. So basically, if we click edit flows, I don't know if you guys saw that button, might have missed that, but basically you just click edit flows. I'll do it one more time. Then as soon as you click edit flows, you got post purchase right here on your left bar. You got checkout, post purchase, post purchase second, thank you page, or status page. So you got all these different ones. You have to have the Shopify plus plan if you wanna use the actual checkout customization. But I really recommend you focus on the post purchase anyways. So if you don't have the Shopify plus plan and you don't really wanna do a ton of checkout page upsells, you really don't need to at all. But the post purchase, in my opinion, is where the money's at because I don't really like to interfere with the customer's purchasing on their first product, right? When the customers come to your store and they're buying their first thing, you really don't want to interfere and show them you know 10 different products in that process you just want them to buy it as quick as possible right and then after they buy that first product that they came to your website for now that's time to go upsell them and try to get them to buy other products because they already locked in the first one if that makes sense but if they haven't locked in the first purchase yet and you're throwing them a bunch of different upsells people get confused and they might just leave and walk away with nothing when if you didn't do anything, they might have at least bought the first product that they came on your website for if you didn't distract them, right? So that being said, this is why I recommend post-purchase upsells and this is why I love reconvert so much. A cool thing right inside of here is actually adding conditions. This is the first thing I'll explain. So conditions is basically saying, hey, we're only gonna show this upsell to somebody if they do this, right? And we're not gonna show it to somebody if they do this. So basically, you can click add condition, you can name it whatever you want, new, then we could 
pick specific. So we'll say, let's do a specific product. We'll say every product in cart from this list, let's say, um, now we're just gonna search for products. It's gonna pull up my products, let's see. All right, so say we just grab a couple products right here, for example, then click done and then click save. Now, basically this post purchase will only be shown to these, two people who have these in their product or in their cart. So, so now with the condition I just set up, only people who have these three products in their cart will see the upsell that I'm about to make right here. So basically once you set up the condition, now you have the first page and here's where you could add widgets. So continue to next condition, keep slot empty, or we could add widgets. And this is where we build our product upsell. So we can start from scratch, we can do product upsell, product recommendations, bundle. I like to do upsell, but you guys can play with any of these. All I'm gonna do in upsell is now just go ahead and pick a product. So basically in here, I can pick whatever product I want. I could go specific product. I could go most expensive, cheapest, wiser, personalized. I could pick whatever I want here, but I'm gonna do specific. And then I'm gonna also choose whatever layout I like the most. For this specific one, I'm gonna just keep right here two column. I do like to use the two column most of the time. Next thing, select featured product. So I'm gonna select say these glasses right here. And then next, if we want to display featured product anyway, we can do it right here or we can hide the upsell, use Shopify recommendations, display alternative product, whatever we want right here. So if the product's already in their order, for example, what we could do is say, recommend the gold ones, for example. So this just means if the customers already has three products in their cart and they also have this product in their cart, we obviously don't wanna show them this upsell. So it's saying, hey, if a customer already has that in their cart, what would you wanna show them instead? And so it's kinda of like a backup for the people who are gonna get shown this upsell because they have the three products in the cart that we just set on the condition, but they also have this one. And if that happens, now they're gonna be shown the gold version instead. Next thing we can do is edit all these different things inside the widget. So we don't have to just keep the same image, product title, product details, and all this stuff from our product directly from Shopify. We could actually go in here and edit all this however we want by clicking any of these. I'm gonna leave it the same. I usually Usually don't mess with this too much but then we could go up here edit the timer if we want to we can make it five minutes usually what I like to do is four minutes and say 23 seconds so then when somebody gets on the page it looks believable it doesn't look like their countdown just started right now. It looks like it's something that's been going or a sale that's been happening. So I'll do something like that. And then you could change the text, make it look like your brand, change the day label, change the design, do whatever you want. However, I'm gonna leave it kind of this way. The only thing I do wanna change is timer background will go red just so it pops out a little bit more. Now I'm gonna click save and then boom, just like that, we have this upsell set up to now when people have those three products that we set on the condition in their cart, they're gonna get shown this upsell after they make their first purchase. Now that's how you guys set up an upsell flow basically from start to finish. We could even go here and create A-B testing. This is kind of cool. So say we have our first one we just set up with the pink glasses, but say we wanted to maybe see also, okay, well, we've got the pink glasses one, but maybe let's see if, you know, we're not sure if the pink glasses are gonna be the ones that perform the best. Maybe giving an upsell of of, you know, the blue glasses is gonna be better. So maybe we'll set a B test for the blue glasses, meaning that now 50% of people are gonna get shown the blue glasses landing page and 50% of people are gonna get shown the pink glasses landing page. So then we're gonna see out of the two, which one actually performs the best. And as you can see right up here, you see variant A 50%, variant B 50%. So this literally is showing you right here that they're gonna be showing 50% of the people, the first variant and 50% of the people, the second variant. Split testing is so cool because it allows you to actually know what upsells are working better. It's extremely extremely hard to test upsells otherwise because you have to just literally let them one run for a week and then the next run for a week and then the next run for a week and then you have to also hope that throughout all those weeks nothing else is changing that could influence the reason people are specifically picking a certain upsell versus weeks prior. With this, it literally allows you to split test different landing pages and you can know that 
50% of everybody who hits your store are gonna see either this, this one and then 50% are gonna see this one. So you're gonna be able to see your data real time, which one people are taking more, which one are people are buying on more. It's like going fishing and actually knowing what bait is working versus not knowing at all. So that being said, you guys, now we've got variant A and variant B set up. We can edit them, change them, do whatever we want like I've just showed you guys a bunch. But just like that, now we have A and B testing set up for this whole entire upsell. We've got our conditions on. You don't have to turn conditions on, but we did. You don't have to, like I said. Next one is post-purchase second. So this is basically your second post-purchase upsell page or your second opportunity to upsell your customers. So right here, we're just gonna go ahead and do the same thing, but for a different product. However, on this one, I'm not gonna add any condition. This upsell is just gonna be shown to everybody. So I'm just gonna leave condition blank. Now what I'm gonna do next is just go ahead and go to edit and then what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna add a different product. And I'm also gonna do a different layout so you guys can see what it looks like. I know it's self-explanatory and I probably only really had to show you guys setting it up once because reconvert's so simple and nice to use, but I'm gonna show you guys again. So basically, all we do is we could go right here. I'm gonna pick this three column one. And then right here, I can choose product to display. So I can display most expensive product in the order, cheapest product in the order, specific product, Shopify recommendations, wiser recommendations, personalized recommendations. Um, so if I go to specific product, Product right here for example I'm gonna click specific featured product I can scroll down and then I'm just gonna pick let's say we've done a bunch of glasses so maybe let's hit them with something like a bracelet right since they've seen a lot of glasses as an upsell now let's hit them with a bracelet instead so now basically I'm gonna go ahead and click save on this bracelet and I chose that as the product photo right here and now, as you guys can see, I've got this bracelet as the upsell for this second page. Now, if I wanna go and actually edit the product title, I can right here as well. I can link it to product display alternative product title where I can write whatever I want if I want to, or I don't have to, so click save. But like you guys have already seen, you can click wherever and edit whatever you want. Your last offer, get more what you like at the 13% off, right? Usually I like to kind of leave it what they have because Reconvert's obviously tested this stuff for you, so if you just want to leave it up to the people who know how to do this best you can just kind of leave it up to reconvert however sometimes I'll go in here and kind of mess with the percentages off like a lot of times I like to give them even higher percent off or a lot of times maybe I could do even less if it doesn't make sense so you can go in here and mess with that if you want you could also change this to match your brand I also mess with the colors a lot of the times so the colors actually fit my brand but for the sake of this video and saving you guys time since all that stuff's not stuff you really need to be taught how to do you just simply literally click whatever you wanna change and then go and change it. So as soon as your customer goes through the post-purchase first, post-purchase second, the next thing they have is the thank you page. So you've hit them with the first upsell, you've hit them with the second upsell, and now they have the thank you page upsell. This is why reconvert is so strong, you guys. Usually, the purchase would've ended before all three of these things. Usually, that would just be it. But now we've already had two more chances to upsell them, and we're about to have a third on the thank you page. This is why reconvert is crazy, crazy, crazy useful, you guys. That being said, thank you guys once again so much for watching this video. My name is Jeremy Ray, and I'll see you guys in the next one.